So I've been able to spend a week with the Mazda 6 Signature with the two and a half liter turbo and I've got five likes and five dislikes coming at you right now. So before I get started, I want you to know I do have a full detailed review of this car, a complete walk around if you wanna see that, but starting with my likes in no particular order, like number one is that for 2018, finally Mazda has given us a power upgrade. We have a two and a half liter turbo that puts out a whole bunch of torque. 310 pound feet of torque, 227 horsepower with regular fuel and 250 horsepower with 93 premium fuel. And it's definitely a big upgrade. It gives us a power option if we really want it, starting on the Grand Touring model, Grand Touring Reserve and the Signature. To give you a little idea, put your foot down. <laughs> and that torque comes out, oh man, at 2,000 RPMs. My like number two is the luxurious feel that Mazda gives you. Mazda's going for this Mazda Premium, and they really have done a good job. We've got standard LED headlights, which look really good. They do a really good job, even adaptive lighting system. We have a very simple modern layout with ultra suede and Sen wood on the signature trim. And Mazda's really kind of gone over the top with some of the materials to make this thing stand out and attract some luxury buyers. My like number three is something that I was critical of on the Mazda 3 if you want to see that video, but my like number three is the back seats. So there's a few reasons. Um, they're plenty spacious. I have enough headroom and legroom at five foot nine. There's really no trouble with that. They're comfortable. And we've got a center folding armrest with two nice cup holders, two USB ports, and then you got three tier heated seats on your outboard seat, which is just really awesome. Plus we've got AC vents to top it off. My like number four is something really small that a lot of people won't even look for in a vehicle, but <laughs> we've got an auto dimming driver's side mirror over here. So when you've got some bright headlights behind you, they're not gonna be blinding you. It really, it really makes night driving a lot more pleasant. My like number five is the upgrades to the infotainment system. We've got a 360 camera, which is pretty poor resolution, by the way. But you can see in front of you, you can see behind you, you can see in a round view monitor if you're in your parking spot or close to something. It's definitely an upgrade and something that is really nice to have. And plus, we have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in here standard with our eight inch touch screen and screen that you can use with your, with your turn dial. My dislike number one in no particular order is, oh, I love that we have a heated steering wheel, but I hate that it's only on the sides. It's only on the sides of the steering wheel. You don't have it on the top. You don't have it on the bottom. I just don't understand it. My dislike number two is part of one of my likes. The really poor grainy, resolution that you've got on your 360 camera backup camera it's it looks like it's from a different a different decade honestly my dislike number three is kind of the center console layout and i'm critical of pretty much every mazda center console layout but below the ac controls we have a pretty good size padded or a textured area for storage which is nice but there's no plugins there's no ports in there and then the actual center console is really small. You can't fit very much in there at all. It's kind of a surprise, but it is soft and padded. And then another thing with the console is that the cup holders, if you have bottles in there, it pretty much makes your turn dial and your Mazda Connect system kind of useless because you got to work your arm around it and it just gets annoying. My dislike number four is on the signature trim and only on the signature trim do you get the new seven inch multi-information display. It's nice that they finally gave us that instead of their small, just basic trip computer on the other trims. But on the signature trim, this seven inch display is lacking. There's no audio, there's no navigation on there. It's not as customizable as you would think and it's just kind of disappointing overall. My dislike number five, now I don't know what the deal is, but I have smacked my freaking head on there like five times in the week that I've had it. And I don't know what it is. It, it seems like this is just kind of just a low entry. I'm five foot nine, I'm not very tall. It's not like I'm not flexible, but I've just been hitting my head and it's really annoying. So those were my five likes and my five dislikes with this car. I've only had it for a week and obviously they're just my opinion. I would love to know what your five likes and five dislikes are, or at least your favorite and least favorite thing, especially if you own the car. 
And overall, I've really enjoyed my time with this car. I think Mazda has done a really good job with the 6 this year. They've really done some things to make it competitive with the Camry and the Accord. And like I said, if you want to see my full review, I will put a link down below. But thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for weekly reviews and some other 5 likes and 5 dislikes videos. Thank you all so much. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll catch you next time.